thumbs up, drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. It's the autonomous period in match number four here at Kettering. We've got three blue robots moving, three red robots moving. Let's see what they can balance up to. The Lake Orion machine is up and engaged over on red. No machines up engaged on blue as we move into the teleoperated period with red 35. Correction, blue 35, red 25. The flying toaster machine over on the blue alliance. Grabs a cone, they score in the medium tier. That's three points as they move back into the blue loading zone for more. Meanwhile, on the Red Alliance, the Lake Orion machine working at grabbing a cube so they can do some scoring for Red. 1701 over on the Blue Alliance, the Robo Cubs. Working at get, staying untangled from their teammates as they grab a cone and move towards the Blue community. The crew is right along with them as Blue continues to add on to that score. Red's pushing it and starting to take a lead. Our state champions, 1506 Metal Muscle. One of the best cycling robots in first in Michigan. Picking up another cone. Bumping into the South Lion machine as they go to load some more. We've got 50 seconds left in this one. 50 seconds left. Reds up 81 to a blue 63, but it's not out of reach for the Blue Alliance yet. The fast team over on the Red Alliance still working hard to score as our Metal Muscle and those Dragons. As we hear the 30 second marker. The crew shoots across the field to score again, and Metal Muscle is down. Let's see if we can get two red robots up and engaged. We've got nine seconds left. Two red robots up and engaged. Can Blue get three robots up? And they do, and this one is done. I think our scores are ready. Let's see how these alliances did. It's going to be a win for the Red Alliance. Even with one machine down, 135 to 126. And we're going to send it back over to the first one, Dex. Well, round number one is complete here with our Red Alliance taking the victory and uh, moving on in the upper bracket. Blue Alliance is going to fall down to the lower bracket. Play in match number six will be coming up here in just a little bit as well. Fantastic matchup and great plays overall. Ben, let's hop in the instant replay talking about what went down uh, starting in Autonomous. Yeah, so starting in Autonomous, we see it was a pretty even auto. There were really no mistakes, and that's a really good thing to see. Um, all of them were really uh, even. I think they ended at like 36-36. Um, Red was able to, during Teleop, overcome a couple drops from a couple teams, which was really good for them. Um, you see at 110, 7056 drops a couple um, in a row, so they drop one right here uh, as they try to extend, and then on the way back after um, getting in the loading zone, they drop another one. Um, and so that was, that was pretty hard for them, and that, that contributed to the close score, but they were still able, able to overcome it ultimately. Um, Red really overcame a lot of issues with 1506 uh, falling over at 20 as well. Um, they, they, uh, they were able to get the double climb, which pulled them ahead. Um, and then, yeah, at, uh, during, uh, at 55, we see a jam in both the loading zone and in, while scoring by blue. And I think that's really what allowed Red to pull away was um, they jammed up here and then they jammed up here as well. So it really caused some issues with scoring. Yeah, if we go back just a few seconds on here, you're going to see the blue lines, a lot of robots congregating over here. And right there, you see 1701 waiting. And that's what you want to avoid there is you don't want robots waiting. You want them to continually go. And so a lot of that will just fall down to communication when you look at the next match here of having that team, making sure all the drive coaches, all the drive teams are communicating. Uh, so nobody's waiting. We're consistently getting those cycles going quick. 
Yeah, if they can adjust that, I mean, they'll have a real chance down in the loser's bracket, so I, I'd love to see them play again. Yeah, and as we go to like 20 seconds here, we mentioned, you know, Metal Muscle unfortunately falling over on that. Uh, luckily, enough buffer for them. There they are right there, unfortunately. I never want to see that right, but they've created such a buffer there through their offensive play, able to get it, still uh, able to take the match and, and succeed into the next round. Yeah, that triple balance got a, got a couple people scared, I'll say, but it wasn't, it wasn't quite enough. Absolutely. Well, good luck to both of these teams. Uh, both are still playing and both are continuing on. But we are going to be going into round number two now, so it'll be very exciting to see who's competing this one. Let's head back down the field for Alliance 8 versus Alliance 5. 